Every time the phone rings, I feel like my heart could just jump out of my chest. It could mean that somebody is calling to give me life. I was diagnosed with kidney disease and lupus when I was 22. Thousands of patients are waiting for a kidney transplant. And this begs the question, why are transplantation wait lists so long? The kidneys are essential as they play an important role in keeping our body in balance. Unfortunately, some kidneys fail, and when both kidneys no longer function, we must take action to ensure our bodies maintain balance. The preferred method to treat kidney failure is through kidney transplantation. In Canada, there are currently over 4,500 people in need of an organ transplant, and of these individuals, 75% are waiting for a kidney transplant. 35% of kidney transplants are made by living donors. The need for organs outpaces the supply making limited donors an important factor in the waitlist. Canada does not have a national transplant organization. Most provinces have one central waitlist. Ontario has a total of five. Consequently, the area in which an individual waiting for an organ resides can affect the time they spend on the waitlist. In addition to this, Ontario citizens are only eligible to be on the waitlist once they begin dialysis treatment. Thirdly, Canada is a multicultural country. This leads to cultural and religious differences in organ donations. Some religious beliefs considered organ donations as sacrilegious, preventing many from donating. However, modern religious organizations view organ donations as compassionate and charitable. Understanding these changes will help increase the number of donors in the future. When kidneys fail and transplantation cannot be performed right away, the individual must undergo dialysis while waiting. Dialysis is a method of treatment for pre-transplant patients that can help take over the roles of the kidney by performing several functions. Dialysis mimics the roles of the kidney by removing waste, excess water, and salt to prevent a buildup in the body. It is necessary when about 85 to 90% of the kidney function is lost. Long-term use can lead to an increased risk of kidney failure and other complications that can impact the success of the transplant. In summary, the factors affecting kidney wait times are limited donors, location of recipient, religious beliefs, and dialysis prior to 